It's nearly the end of term. Somebody has ordered anaerobic respiration practical, the yeast one. You might have seen my video about that. So I decided to mix it up a bit. Because also, I have no balloons. I do have, still have lots of water balloons. So I've come up with a new idea, which I think might be quite fun. So I'll just show you. Got the yeast there bubbling away. The point of this practical is to show that yeast can respire anaerobically, so without oxygen. So what I'm going to do is put them in these little bottles and fill them up so there's no air. Stick a little water balloon over the top and then I'm going to get the kids to hold them in their hot little mitts and see if that inflates the balloon. I'm going to test that now. Hot little mitt, well actually a hot humongous mitt. Let's see. Come on. Please let this be an experiment that works. It's not gone very well today, quite frankly. Come on, you want to do it. My body temperature is surely high enough. While we're waiting for this, I'd like you to appreciate the fact that I've got cockatiel earrings that match the cockatiels on my jumpsuit. I will continue to hold it while I do some other things. A success. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Boing. Boing. But it works. So the kids can hold it in their hot little mitts and it will work within the lesson time. And bingo. Fun lesson for the end of term. Anaerobic respiration with yeast.